Welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one is on the eraser, scissors and knife tools in Adobe Illustrator 2021. Um, I'll be honest, the tool I use the most is the eraser tool. I pretty much never use the scissor tool and the knife tool has its uses, but very rarely. Um, the first thing I'll say is uh, this artboard is 1920 pixels. Uh, 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels if you want to follow along um, The tools can be found up here. You'll probably see the default eraser tool the shortcut is shift E um, The scissors tool the shortcut is C it looks like a pair of scissors and the knife looks like a little saw and I've got a shortcut set to two, but you probably won't have any shortcuts by default so if you do want to add in a custom shortcut you can go up to edit keyboard shortcuts and then you just scroll down here until you find the knife tool and then you can put in the number two the shortcut and the symbol you want to see you can customize that so quite a lot of them are, are already used for other things but um, you should be good with the numbers there's another one in here that we'll mention later on group selection there isn't a default shortcut for that and I've just put in the number one so group selection number one, knife tool number two, and then you can hit apply. So we're going to start off, I'm going to shift to another artboard that I've done already, and we're going to start with the eraser tool. So shift E takes us to the eraser tool. The first thing you'll see is a crosshair and a, a sort of fuzzy circle. Now if you go to the square brackets and press the left hand one, that circle will get smaller. If you press the right hand one, that will get bigger fairly obvious that's just going to be the size of the eraser when you actually start working on stuff so I'm going to set mine to about there just a little bit smaller than the actual crosshairs all I've done here is um, typed eraser in a font and then if we go over here I've typed eraser scissor and knife so what I've done if I can want to copy that over I just click it with V and hold down alt and I'll do a copy and then I press Command Shift O and that outlines it. You'll see each letter has now become an outline. So there, you can see the crossing over here. If I direct select with A, I can move them off each other. So, go back to the artboard. Um, on this one, I've left it as a fill color, but I haven't joined the letters together. Uh, the scissors, I've joined them together and put them as a stroke and the knife, I've joined them together and put them as a stroke. So let's get started. I'm gonna zoom in on eraser and hit shift E. Make that a little bit smaller. Now, if I start erasing over this, nothing's gonna happen. I actually need to direct select what I wanna erase. So let's pick the, the R with direct select. So press A, direct select it, shift E, and then you can erase whatever you want, but it's not gonna to touch the letters on either side of it. If I wanna select a few, so I'll direct select with A, hold down Shift, and select the A, keep and hold and Shift, press the S, then we're gonna Shift E to the eraser, and that means I'm just gonna erase those three. It's not gonna have an effect on the other ones. Um, it's handy, when do I use it? Um, not all that often, but when I do use it, it's probably to just erase things quickly. I use the Pathfinder um, intersect or exclude options quite a bit. But if you were just to use the eraser tool, so let's take these two shapes, for example, I'm going to convert them to outlines. Um, I don't actually need to convert them to outlines. I'll just go ahead and select the squiggle, hit eraser. And I'm just going to chop around the circle. I don't want the bits overlapping the circle. And then you can direct select these and just hit delete. And it's chopped these pieces in the middle. So that's not bad for the eraser tool. We're going to jump on to the scissors tool. It differs from the eraser tool as the eraser tool will rewrite the path, redraw the paths. Um, so once you've used the eraser tool, 
on something you can see it's actually drawn those paths again so with the scissor tool it works with the anchor points so if I select this here we can see all the anchor points pop up scissor tool is C and now if I click a couple of anchor points and using my group select so the shortcut it's under your direct selection tool which is A and I've pre-programmed that group selection tool as one so if I select that group selection and hit this it's chopped that section out so I'll go back to scissors with C I'll direct select with A scissors with C let's go for these two here just click these two anchor points and then use my group select tool and it just cuts a bit out um, would I use it not really I don't really see a viable um, option for it if I do want to change things I'll generally tend to just drop in an extra point either side and get rid of something get rid of an anchor point so no I don't really use the scissor tool onto the knife tool like I said there was no um, shortcut but we've pre-programmed the number two so I'm gonna go ahead and hit two and that brings up my little knife looks like a little saw um, if I select this stroke shape here it says knife and go across it I'm just gonna squiggle you'll start to see this line and the line changes a little bit I'm not sure why it sort of smooths itself out a little bit and I'll just go across the whole shape I'll do some squiggles at the end and when I let go it's sliced up the the shape into lots of different shapes now with that group selection tool my shortcut was one with that group selection tool you can now select each one of these oh, each one of these shapes sorry I'll do that again and they are all now separate they're all chopped up which has its uses um, you can start to select one of the shapes change the fill colors so we're just selecting these with the the group selection tool so maybe a contrasting color go through there so you can get some good effects with it I would use the um, the knife tool um, for illustrations it looks good it creates smooth paths um, they're not overly complicated if you look there aren't too many paths in that at all where it's cut so it's it's a decent tool it does smooth itself out a little bit um, and it has its uses uh, on a shape if we use the knife tool cut across it it's going to do that and again with that group select tool it's um, it's separated that up into all the shapes so it, it, it could be useful um, on certain illustration projects move that one in I'll try the scissor tool on the square see what it does cut that one cut that one there isn't a point there I could cut that one with the group select I can hit the corner and then just take that out um, I can then group those two points together just direct select that one and that one press command J that's going to group them together press that one and that one and press command J it's going to group that one together so that is the eraser scissor and knife tool basics I uh, hope you found that helpful please like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time